We're going to set up and solve an optimal control problem with the package Gecko in Python. So if you want to get more information on Gecko, just go to this link or read the docs and it'll show you some of the documentation on Gecko. The very first thing that you're going to need to do is pip install Gecko. So just open up a command prompt and type pip install Gecko and that'll go out and get the latest version and install it for you. Okay, so that's uh, how to get started. Now we want to set up and solve this dynamic optimization problem and we'll show the code on the right. First of all, let's just go through this. We want to maximize the value of x2 by adjusting the values of u. That's our decision variable. But we don't want to maximize all of the values of x2 just at the final point. We're going to go between 0 and 1 and we'll start at our x2 value of 0 and then try to push that as high as we can just for the final point right there. Okay, and then we're also subject to another differential equation which is x1. That's going to start at a value of 1 and that's going to trend lower throughout and then we'll have our x2 differential equation as well. So we have two differential equations that we're going to be solving to maximize this. We have our initial conditions right here. That's x1 it initially is going to be equal to 1. x2 is initially going to be equal to 0. The other thing we need is our u value. That's going to be between 0 and 5. So u might start at 0, for example, and maybe go up and we'll want to try to adjust the values of u at every time point between 0 and 1. Now we can't do that continuously, so we're going to break that up into different time pieces and then optimize each of those time pieces. Here's our final time equal to 1. So let's go ahead and just go through the code on this, on how to do this with Gecko. First of all, we need some packages like NumPy and Matplotlib. NumPy just to do some uh, basic time vectors and then Matplotlib for plotting. This is how you import Gecko. We're going to, from Gecko, import capital Gecko and then create our new model. Here's our, here are our time points. So these are all the time points between you know, 0 and 1 and we have a delta t equals 0.01. 101 time points. Next we're going to set up our parameters. Uh, in this case we just have the u value. It's going to be between 0 and 5. There's a lower bound and upper bound. And we'll just give it an initial value of 1. The status equals 1 just means you know, turn, tell the solver that we're turning that on and we want to be able to optimize it. Okay, we have some variables as well. And there are initial conditions, x1 and x2. And we're just going to define those with m.var. Okay, then we, um, let me just move on to equations right now. I'm going to go back to that uh, previous section in just a second. Uh, here's our differential equation right there. And so there is our um, dx1 dt on the left hand side. Don't forget the double equal sign right here. So that's the equality constraint. Uh, so dx1 dt equals and then we have the right hand side and then the other thing in Python is this is u squared. You just use the double asterisk in Python. Okay, there's our second differential equation, just a little bit easier. Next we go to our objective function. We want to maximize the value of x2. And so to convert a maximum to a minimum, you just multiply by uh, negative 1. Okay, so negative x2, t final. So those two are the same. Okay, so we're just going to convert it over to minimization because the echo requires you to do a minimization. So you just multiply by negative 1 to do maximum. And we don't want to maximize the value of x2 at every time point, just at the very final time point. And so that's where this comes in right here. It just sets up something that's 0 everywhere. And then at the very final point, it's equal to 1. So we just define this for the 101 time points. And then at the very last one, we say that's equal to 1. And we use that to initialize our final parameter. And then we just multiply those two together. So whatever the value of x2 is, it's just going to be multiplied by 0 everywhere, except at the very last point, which is going to be equal to 1. 
And then we have our I mode equals 6, which is dynamic optimization. And then we solve it. Now, if you want to solve it locally in Windows, then you just set up, uh, you just put in remote equals false. And just plug that the right in there to the parentheses. And it'll solve it locally without an internet connection. Okay, and then uh, finally we get our objective. And we just print out the last value of x2. And the rest of this is just plotting these values. So we can look and see what u did, what x2 did. And so it's just setting that up in matplotlib. So if you want to download the source code for this, just come to this link right here, the Dynamic Optimization website. And then come down to Benchmarks on the right. And that will bring you to a list of benchmark problems. And this is going to be problem number three. OK, so there it is, problem number three. And you can get the source code right here where it says show Gecko Python source code. And just make sure you use the link down at the bottom right to get code. That will give it to you kind of in a raw format so you don't get those extra formatting characters there. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this and just see what it gives us in terms of the profiles. So I'm going to run it with Python 3.6. It's going to solve it with the IPOP solver. And there you can see the solution. It starts at 1 here on the left for the U value. It quickly jumps down to 0.8. And then you can see it comes up to a maximum of 5. You can see our upper constraint limited that right at the end. Now this is our x2 value as it increases, and this sequence of u values is going to push this x2 as high as possible. So about 0 0.57 is the total. Okay, so let's go back here and just take a look at our solver output. We had our objective equals negative 0 0.57. That's just because we converted that over to a minimization problem. But there's our objective. That's our final x2 value right there. Okay, so just to summarize uh, what we did, we set up and solved this with uh, Gecko, and we uh, took this optimal control problem. Now you can ha really have any optimal control problem. Um, you know, we Gecko can handle up to you know very large problems. Okay, so this is just a very simple one, but you may have many, many more equations and variables. It may be much more complex than this. This is just a benchmark problem just to show the features of Gecko.